Okay, today we're working on replacing a smashed screen on a HP Pavilion G7 series laptop. It's actually a G7 1002 SA model. Um, we've removed the um, two covers over the screws already. They're in the bottom corners, so there's two screws to be removed. Quite tight these, you've got to really push the screen back to be able to get a, a small screwdriver in. And then with the two screws out, it's a case of removing the bezel. Now on this one, I found we've been able just to unclip it by hand, just by getting our, our fingers in and then working along down the sides and across the bottom that done the bezel just lifts up and away just show you the display itself you can see there that's uh, pretty badly smashed that one um, screen's still working and what have you behind uh, where it's been smashed. So just power that down Okay, so take the battery out so that the machine's got no power in at all Then we need to remove the two screws in the uh, top corners Which just gives you a little bit of movement in the screen brackets and enables you to get the screws out down the side of the screen. So there's four screws in this one, two, two along each edge, top and bottom. Bottom one's a little bit tight, you just need to push the case back slightly to be able to remove it. Same on the other side. Oop, nearly had a runaway screw. Four screws removed. And then the screen <coughs> just lays down flat. If you look here then on the back of the screen you can see um, the connector and there's plastic tape there um, that you just need to lift up also um, the connectors uh, got sticky tape on the underside so you actually need to lift it up front and back and then once you've done that don't know whether you can see with my hands the connector just pulls back away from the screen so that's the um, broken and damaged screen out and out your way Take our new screen, <clears throat> remove the protective cover, <clears throat> that removed, I'm going to lie the screen down and it's basically a case of um, doing the same steps backwards to put the machine back together. So on these um, on these screen connectors you need to be very cautious that you've got it lined up properly and then literally it slides into place. Push the tape back down and then stand the screen back within its brackets. And then from there we should be able to start putting the screws back in. So we just put two screws back in and then give the machine some power just to make sure that there are no issues with the screen. Unscrew in there.
one back in on that side. So then if we put some power to the machine, switch it on. Now we see fully working machine. Power it off. So two screws back in the bottom. Just take your time with these to line the holes up. One. So, two screws back into the frame at the top. <coughs> Bezel slots back in at the bottom. Once it's all lined up correctly, just go around. Make sure the case is closed along all the edges. screws and then finally <clears throat> just the two screw covers back in place Two. Just give the screen a wipe with a microfiber cloth just to take off any dust, any fingerprints. And the final thing we do, we always <coughs> replace the cover back over the screen and then finally Put on that front cover. A little bit of our PC Doctor branding. Um, we repair all makes and models of laptops. Carry out a full range of repairs. Um, obviously do screen replacements on all makes and models including the touchscreen replacements uh, you can take a look at our website which is www.northwestpcdoctors.co.uk